Good afternoon, my friend. Yes, Cobra Viper, it is the one and only Golden Eye for N64. Oh, thanks, dude. You rock, man. Glad that I can entertain you. A lot of me today. There's a lot of me today, so I'm glad uh, you're here. Uh, joining me from the YouTube stream this morning, which is awesome. We're doing GoldenEye 007 at long last. It has returned to its rightful home on a Nintendo console. It's been tied up for a very, very long time. Uh, Activision had the license. Electronic Arts had the license. Rare, Nintendo. So much tie-up. Here we go. We are here. We have our N64 controller. And I'm ready to go. We're going to go on Agent, I think, just till we get our feet wet. Till we understand what's going on again. I've also read that the controls... Bungie jump from the platform, that's our only goal. I've also heard the controls are a little rough if you don't have a 64 controller. Um, people are having some issues with it. You got to remember, this is a game from 1997, everyone. We are now used to uh, first person controller, con the way first person controls are now, sorry. They're quite different than they were back then, especially on a console. But look how great this looks. Just looking on the side monitor here. Ah, oh, it's so clean. So clean looking. Here we go. It's just like riding a bike. So the C buttons are your strife. Your R should be aiming. Yep. This poor sap getting in my way. Got ourselves the KF7 already. I think, yep. Just familiarizing myself with the controls. I played a little tiny bit this morning, uh, but I wanted to keep it under control. My excitement level was through the roof. Listen to this awesome music, man. Rare was the king of the 90s. The absolute king. I know we just have to bungee jump, but you know what? We're going to take a trip down memory lane. We might as well do it right. There's the old sniper. We're going to uh, take our time and enjoy the scenery. Oh my god. It's been quite a few years. What am I doing? Here we go. This poor guy. Oh! Took a shot to the back. He guy blew me up the stairs. Yeah, the C... Or not the C stick. That's GameCube. The uh, analog stick on this thing. Yeah, that was the first thing to go. Right? You didn't want to be the guy with the broken analog stick, I tell you that. I'm just so grateful we're playing this in 2023, and I can't believe how great it looks. This is uh, an all-time classic. So we're going to go as far as we can in this game. Look at the sniper. How do you switch guns? Oh, yeah, okay. Look at this, look at this guy. Oh, a little, little temperamental. Hey, I'm trying to aim. What, you can hit him with a stock? I don't think I want to use all the, uh, the, the bullets right now on my uh, silenced. Because we're going to be heading into the base, I think. If I remember correctly, it's been a long, long time. But just like everyone else, I can't tell you how many friggin' hours... My friends and I spent playing this game, both single player and, of course, the excellent multiplayer. DJ, good evening. How you doing, mate? Welcome to Goldeneye. This is Goldeneye launch day. The 27th of January, 2023. We got Goldeneye. Uh, they kind of tried to do that. Uh, Viper, they did. Uh, remember the one they put on? I think it was on the Wii. They couldn't release the actual rare Golden Eye, so they kind of tried to uh, put it out. I don't know. I, I'm glad they didn't touch it, to be honest with you. I would like to see a remaster. 
as long as they keep the original intact, which they have. So now, remaster it all you want. I just, I want both options, right? Because I'm greedy, and I think this game deserves that kind of treatment. Slaps only, yeah, dude. I'm sure we're going to have a big conversation revolving around the multiplayer. Um, oh, there's the, the big hero. Yeah, you got to cycle through the... Uh, Cycle through the weapons. That's kind of funny. Uh-oh. The alarm is sent. I've triggered the alarm. I'm dying, too. I'm getting shot a lot. Where's the alarm right there? Uh. No more alarm. Who's shooting me? This guy has followed me from the spawn area. We're going to have to clean house here. Ooh, I got the... Uh, the general's gun or whatever. I remember this one. Slightly stronger than uh, the silenced one you start with. Chad, what's going on, brother? Look at this. This is glorious, dude. You got to switch too, right? You should be booting this up today. Um, I've heard a lot of people complain already about the multiplayer because it's not online. Come on. Just be happy we have this game. This computer will be for a different difficulty. So again, in GoldenEye, the higher we go in difficulty, the more objectives there are. I've just chosen to do uh, Agent right now. Uh, so we can get through as much of this and just go down memory lane. Luthien, welcome. How are you? Thanks for joining again. Love you guys hanging out with me. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like this game, dude, should be played in the same room with your buddies. I really do. Like, I don't care if we have to share one screen. It's just, there's something about playing 64 with your friends that's unlike any other console out there. There's nothing like it. Did I ever play GoldenEye on PlayStation? Which, are you talking about the uh, Rogue Agent one? Easy there. I love the, the the face mapping technology back then. Do you remember the, uh, what was it? The Game Boy printer? I think it was the Game Boy printer. Anyway, it was some kind of attachment that the 64 got or it was going to get where um, you were going to be able to map your face in this game. Do you remember that? It was this or Perfect Dark, I think. It might have been Perfect Dark. Yeah, let's do it on the big screen, man. And I don't think there's TVs anymore that are small screens. Isn't every TV, like, huge now? They're really affordable and huge. I'm just doing this to kill enemies for fun. We don't have to do this. All we have to do is bungee jump from the platform. But I'm having fun. I'm getting reacquainted with the controls. Someone's behind me. It's like riding a bike. Uh, I'm using the, the C buttons to strife. And, uh... It's honestly like riding a bike. It's crazy. Like, all these friggin' memories are coming back. The muscle memory has come back. This is just... This is awesome. Uh, we're still gonna do Bully. Uh, not today. I didn't realize GoldenEye was... I thought it was the very end of the month. I didn't realize it was today. Uh, so, Bully has just been uh, postponed for now. I think it's important to do this on launch day. Fifty-five inches normal. That's what she said. We're taking a lot of hits here, so I don't want to die. But if we die, we die. I'm just having fun shooting these guys. The animation is great. Uh, the way they react to the different, you know, different body parts you shoot them, they react differently. I don't know what I just said there. Oh God! Come on, boys. Come on out. I got something for you. Come on. You're next. Who's next? You? 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 Oh, it's so awesome. I definitely want to play multiplayer really, really bad right now. 
really, really bad. Let's see if I still remember how to crouch. Yep. <laughs> so it's down C and the R button to crouch. The reason I know that so well is because my friends and I, for multiplayer, we would have an honor system, okay? If you didn't have a gun or you couldn't find a gun, we would let you live as long as you were on your knees. Get on your knees. That means you, you move slower, yes, but you were spared. That was kind of a little rule we had. In the game. <laughs> and it was, it was a lot of fun. There's nothing like your buddy like crawling away on his knees and then you shoot him in the back of the head anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, so fun. Oh, we're back on the surface. We didn't need to go in there, but that's okay. We just got to jump off. GoldenEye the movie. Is it the best Bond movie? Probably not. Probably not even close, but it didn't matter. Here we go. Actually, there's another guy up here. Should we kill him? Ah, let's get on with the ceremony. Get up there. Get. Would you? Just. Get. Okay. Go. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's so real. I'm not sure, Viper. The next level I know is the facility. One of the greatest levels in any, any multiplayer game. Facility, and I think the stack was another one that we played. Uh, we played that one a lot, too. That was a cool two-level one. Sometimes that view change looks underwater. <laughs> okay, here's our stats, which is also cool. Something rare upped their game with Perfect Dark, which was the spiritual successor to this one. Uh... So my first time, so we got, uh, we did 9 minutes and 31 seconds. Again, I wasn't speeding it. Accuracy was 60%, which is not very good. Weapon of choice was the uh, the KF7. Look at all the stats. Body hits, all that kind of stuff. That's just great. Oh, now we got some objectives. Oh, everyone slow down. Here we go. So for the facility to gain entry to the laboratory area... Rendezvous with 006. He's a traitor. Destroy all the tanks in the bottling room. I think I remember where that is. Minimize scientist casualties. Well, you know what? I I can't promise that. We'll see what we can do. I'd like to thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this stream. It's a really cool, fun uh, RPG that you can play on your mobile device as well as your PC. And I'll be streaming that at some point this weekend too. I urge you guys to just click on the panel portion of my Twitch channel and you can download it for free. It helps them out and it helps me out. We're in the bathroom. There's the old toilet. Look at that 64-bit toilet. Look at it right there. Uh-oh. I don't want to give my position away. Okay. Shh. we got to be quiet. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert from 1997. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. I don't want to. They're going to be alerted to my presence. Oh, okay. Okay, there, there was a guy in there. Easy. Oh, right in the chest. Poor guy. He was just trying to do his business, and I blew him away. Now, that should alert the other guys. I remember... They used to just file in here, and I would open the door and just mow them all down. Oh, here they come. I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them all come here. Come on, boys. And we're gonna go in here and have a real fun time. Watch this. I loved doing this. Look at this. Is this great? Just mowing them down. Mowing them down. Spoiler alert. 
006 is a traitor. I can't even really remember what GoldenEye is. Isn't it some kind of satellite thing? I just remember going... Oh, we, w we all went to the theater to see the next one. Which was the one with uh, the guy who played Begbie in Train Spotting. I don't know his actor's name. It was like the... I think it was that one? He was like the big multimedia guy. Tomorrow Never Dies, I think it was called. And we were like, oh my god, you know, we're... We just went to see the movie because we figured that this would be the sequel to GoldenEye. Little did we know that Activision acquired the license and, you know, they brought out a really, really terrible game. But we went and saw that because of because of this game. And I remember, too, we were so into Bond because of this. We would rent Bond movies and just, you know, have beers, play GoldenEye, and just have the Bond movies playing. Like, this really got us back into to James Bond, which is a really good thing. Gotta be careful here. We gotta stealth it. Shh. I'm glad I can make you laugh, dude. <laughs> the facility. Oh, it's remotely locked. Oh, well, that's it. Where is it remotely locked from? In here? No. In here? No, I've already been in here. In here. Aha. That's so cool. I mean, this is not too bad graphically. Do you know what I mean, considering... Oh, God. It came out in 1997. I'd say it's aged pretty great. And that's where I think 64 had the edge uh, over PlayStation. It was the PlayStation 1 games don't look quite as good. I understand they were 32-bit. 64 was 64. Oh. But the PlayStation games are just a little bit harder on the eyes. You think this looks like Doom? Oh, look at that. So good. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. We got we got a situation out here. We got a situation. Call the police. Oh, it's so satisfying. Just unloading an entire clip. Poor guy. He's just on guard duty. He's getting paid like five bucks an hour to guard this crappy facility in the middle of nowhere. And I just infiltrate and blow him away. Oh, there's a scientist. I want to plug him. I want to plug him. Ugh. I won't. I can't. I know we're going the wrong way. I'm just uh, reminiscing. Oh, man. So many memories. This dirty green hallway. So much blood spilled in multiplayer. I'll, I always like clearing out the levels, too. We're not going to get any kind of time bonus here. I don't care. I don't want a time bonus. I want to have fun. Oh, yeah. I got to open it from the computer console. The buttons, too. Uh, the, the yellow C buttons. Uh, work really well. I guess I just grew up with it. I don't know if some like kid is going to play this and enjoy it, but I'm just used to the way the controls are, right? Uh, the bottles are... I think they're in the other room. We're going to go in here. I mean, it's a little bit sensitive, the uh, analog. So trying to, like, hone in on this computer, for instance, you got to really guide it with the C buttons. But, again, I think I'm just used to it, right? It's like riding a bike. I feel really at home. But if you didn't really grow up with this, I don't know. I could see 
modern shooter fans not really being super comfortable with it. Time to leave, Dr. Doak. Nice name. Look at that guy's face. You'll need this Dakota to open the bottling room. Good luck. Thanks, baby. Where's the decoder room? Weren't we just in there? Or is that this room? Oh, it's right here. Because this is where the multiplayer level ends right here. We used to hide in this door too. Didn't really fool many people. Oof. Whoop. Oh god, oh god. Come on. I think I cleared them all out. I don't want to get shot from the back. Okay, let's see. Well, we certainly have enough bullets for this thing. If you were a Cobra Trooper or you're fighting Cobra Troopers? Body armor. Yes. Go, 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 go. So you mean if this was like a G.I. Joe themed game? Is that what you mean? You better freeze right where you are and I'll bully you to kingdom come. Yeah, if they use this engine for a Joe game, it would be pretty cool. They really haven't done a really great G.I. Joe game. The um, the arcade one, the Konami one from 92 is, is, is good. But it's good. It's not like the best thing ever. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, yeah. That's what I just... Yeah, exactly my thoughts. I mean, it's a military-based game. How do you not do something good? The The one that came out on PS4 a couple of years ago was so bad. So bad. That was Dr. Venom. I almost shot him in his eyes. Oh, you can change weapons from this screen. Okay. We have remote mines. What is this? We have to do some kind of decoding. Wow, we haven't completed anything. What about double six? Destroy all the tanks in the bottling room. Okay, so I think that's back. It's definitely back. Wildlands, nice. Don't think I've played that one. Uh, I've never been a huge Clancy guy. But yeah, I just... It does blow me away that there, there hasn't been a great Joe game. Get out. You want to get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. Get. I have to blow up these bottles and you're going to be on the other end of it. He's not listening. There he goes. I don't want to blow myself up here. Uh, 
This is not the bottling room, is it? These look like bottles to me. Guess this isn't the bottling room. Okay, so we're going to have to go back. This was also very, uh, it was before Half-Life, I guess, but, uh, objective-based, right? So if I, it wasn't, my point is it wasn't just walking into room after room and just slaughtering everyone. It was, uh, actually paying attention to the objectives, which I clearly have not. Damn, damn, boom, banana, boom. Suckers, eat it. Oof. Poor soul. I'll get this guy right in the skull. What? Oh, I shot his hat off. <laughs> Oh, is this the bottling room? Where's the bottling room? What is a bottling room? This? Oh, God. You better get out of here, scientist. Or you're going to get shot this minute. Oh, okay. Let me see what's going on. Get out of here, buddy. Be free. Get out of here. Remember we used to shoot the scientists in the leg? Like this? <laughs> uh, he's, he's just a little bloody. He's okay. That, let that be a warning to you, kid. That's kind of fun. <laughs> right, I'm going to open all these doors because I'm getting lost. Kill those guys from in here. What a dummy. Look at this idiot. Oh. <sighs> Is this the bottling room? Yeah. This is the bottling room. I remember now. But I think we've used all the mines. 006! Uh-oh. For England, James! We only have three. But it was too easy, Alec. Half of everything is luck. And the other half? <gasps> Fate. Da -da -da -da. Hold him off. Uh, let's try this. I think I strategically have to. Oh my god! Double six is dead? So what does that mean? Did I fail? Oh, the gas. That's right. I'm screwed now. All right. I think we've lost this one. These are all... Have I destroyed all of them? What am I missing? They all look... Oh, well, who's shooting me? Stop it! Oh, it's the gas. All oh, right, right, right. 
No, I'm dead. Look at that dramatic shot they show time and time again. Destroy all the tanks. Ah, oh, so I did everything except the tanks. So I gotta do the tanks first. But I wasted two remote mines, so I, I didn't have enough anyway to destroy them. Yes, I am. I am dead. I don't think there's any checkpoints in this game. Or is there? I can't remember. Oh my god, we have to do it again. You know what the great thing about this now is I know exactly where to go. And the game is just fun. So I'm not too concerned. So we don't have to kill everybody. We've already done that. We had our fun. Let's go do the mission. We're going to keep the stealth or the silenced gun. Shoot. Oh, never mind. We're going to have to clear this room. Yeah, because they've shot all around now. So they've alerted everybody. Look at this poor guy. Look at this poor guy. Watch this. I'll knock his hat off. Oh, never mind. I sh shot his brain out of his head. Oops. Yeah, I have that one on uh, PlayStation. It's so terrible. The controls are brutal. That's the only thing that's really wrong with it. Unfortunately, control in a game is everything. I remember when uh, the G.I. Joe Classifieds first came out. They said they were based off of that game. I don't think that's true. Well, if it was, they changed their tune pretty quickly because they don't look like that anymore. They look like original Real American Heroes. <clears throat> Speaking of that, Chad and I are going to be jumping into uh, Modern Collecting tonight at 8 o'clock. Talking about what we like and don't like about what's going on in the toy industry right now. So make sure you guys join us and weigh in because we want to hear your thoughts too. We always talk. We want to hear you guys talk. All right, this area is clear. This area is clear. <clears throat> now that we know where to go, there's some rooms we don't have to go back into, which is great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Easy. Easy controls. Take it easy. Oh, no. Get in there. Get in there. Let me. Too slow. Too slow. Thank goodness the frame rate's good. This would be a choppy stream. Oh god, I forgot these guys. Choo 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 choo. Oh. Oof. You really feel the hits in this game. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. Here we go. Shoot him in the kneecaps. Oh! I killed the scientist. But we didn't fail yet. I don't think I can kill anymore. He got in the way. He ran right in front of the soldiers. What do you want from me? Uh, we're going to... I think uh, you just got to unload on everyone in this facility here. Unless you're super stealthy. Okay, we don't have to go anywhere in these rooms. I never got that far, Viper. Uh, I couldn't take the controls, honestly. I tried. I still have it. Maybe they patched it, but... I disliked it a lot. But it's so strange, they can't make a good G.I. Joe game. I don't understand it. The Konami arcade game is pretty good. But, uh, I mean, that's an old, outdated arcade game, right? Oh, 
This level's so fun. You guys enjoying the trip down memory lane? I'd like to give a special shout out to Nintendo. Thank you so much for bringing this back out. This is just a nice treat. You have to sub to their subscription service. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's well worth it because you get a, a library of NES, Super NES, 64 Genesis games that they constantly add new ones to uh, every single month. You get to play them all. So you can't actually really own this. But if you're sub to that anyway... I mean, that's how I play Majora's Mask. I could hook up my 64, but, uh, yeah. No. Is this guy coming over here? Who's here? Chris, what's going on? Welcome to GoldenEye. Welcome to the stream, man. Happy beginning of the weekend. Oh, what am I doing? I got turned around. Okay, don't shoot the scientists as much as I want to. I'm not going to. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, this is just a dead end. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chris, I was just talking about that. Um, I'm. It's like riding a bike, man. For me, it's it's just it's perfect. Uh, also, when the 64 stuff started uh, showing up on uh, Switch, I made sure I tracked down a 64 controller. I do think that makes the difference. I'm not usually a controller snob, uh, so I haven't played this with a pro controller but uh it plays great again it's the uh just the 64 the wireless one the bottling room yes i gotta strategically place the mines i'm gonna have to do it quickly because i can't have what's his face die Wildlands, is, that's a tactics, no, not a tactics, a squad-based shooter, right? Uh, the Elite Xbox controller, uh, at least the first one, was not built very well. Which, yeah, kind of sucked. I mean, for $200 Canadian, no, it's more than $200 Canadian. It wasn't built that great. Imagine just standing there and just having, like, a machine gun unloaded on you. You're just standing there. I feel like you shouldn't, as a guard, you shouldn't have your back to an open space like that. Especially a hallway. Get, get, get out of the way. 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 Get Look at this guy. Dude, get out of the way. Come on. Keep coming. Oh, blam. All right. Let's do this. Did I do it? They're all destroyed. What do we have to do? Leave? We gotta leave. Ah, okay. See, I I had just some kind of gut instinct there. I was gonna stay and fight. Never expose your flanks. Exactly. Chris, indeed. Uh, we were talking about 
remasters versus uh, the original. And at this point, now that we have the original accessible to us once again, I'm all for if they want to remaster it and redo it up and all that stuff. But I want the original, so I'm really glad they didn't mess with it. It's so tough, right? I, I, I figure, or I feel like the fans of this game are going to be torn, split down the middle. Some want the original, some want it to be uh, redone. And I've heard a lot of people are pretty upset about the multiplayer, that it's just local. At least it looks that way to me. Okay, so the runway, we have to find the plane ignition key and we have to escape. This is on agent, so this is the uh, just the easiest difficulty for now. Yeah, Viper, I, I would agree to that. Nintendo knows what they're doing. Oh boy. Let's have some fun with these grenades. Did it go off? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. So this is the reticle. So when you hold in the R button, you get the uh, that aiming reticle up, which is pretty archaic now compared to modern shooters. But I don't know. It's just it's charming in this. Oh, there's nothing here. I, I really hope that we get to Perfect Dark next. Oh, look at this. It's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. Sniper say, Yeah, that works too. Yeah. This machine gun, it lets you zoom in a little bit, but not, not too much. Uh, let's use the... Uh... Oh, we got Remote Mines. Got our silenced Walter PPK. What do we want to use here? We want to sneak around, I think. Okay. Where's that guy shooting from? Oh, look at him all the way over there. Get out of here. Oof, poor guy. Okay, we need the plane ignition. Oh, that's so cool. That poor guy. Oh, my God. He just got owned. The bullet holes stay there, too. How cool is that? There's the key. We got some great Bond music kicking in to give us that super ambiance. Yeah, I just see him hiding. That's great. Yeah. Didn't save him though. I just cut through that computer and that friggin' desk. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit that guy. Ah, the gun's too sporadic. Sprays too much. That's okay. How long will the stream be? Um, well, with the stuff that we do, we don't really set out to have a certain time. Uh, it's basically wherever the conversation goes, right? So with the versus stuff, I mean, I mean personally, we do an hour for sure, minimum, right? The for the versus stuff, it just depends on uh, what the chat is saying. You know, one thing leads to another kind of deal. Uh, tonight's going to be a really open-ended, loose discussion on things. And like I said, we want to get your, your guys' opinion on what's going on with the toy, the toy industry lately, the last year or so. So it could go anywhere. I don't know how long it's going to be. This door is locked. Yeah, no swearing. Appreciate that. At least in the... What's the rule? You can't in the first 15 seconds. 
Oh man, I want this guy's gun. Dude, believe me, I have the worst trucker mouth of all time. Oh, it's the Clob. Do you remember this crappy gun? Oh, this thing's the worst gun in the game. I remember it. It's so bad. Oh, I hate it. Whenever we would get this in multiplayer, it's like, you know what? Just kill me. I don't even want it. It's this stupid thing. I'm just screwing around here and fighting. I could just run to the plane, but I'm having a lot of fun just battling these guys. Double clobs. Look out. I'm twice as useless. Oh, there's a tank over there. On the, on the note of remastering again, you know what I really would like? Now that we're looking at this tank. Can you get in this thing? I can't remember. You can't get in it, can you? Wow, these guys. Look at these guys doing their rolls. I was just going to say, it would have been cool if they made another level. Even if it was just for multiplayer, like if they if Rare created a new level for this, wouldn't that be great? That would be so sweet. You know I'm gonna read that pickle, Rick. Even though it's Rickle Pick. What's up, mate? Thank God it's Friday indeed, and cheers to you. Finally watched Nintendo Quest. An awesome ride. Oh man, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make. Appreciate the support. Eat it. Oh, I hate these guns. Yeah, so like I was saying, if they, they would have made one new level, that would have been great. Just a generic level. It wouldn't have to be tied to the movie. But, you know, I'm completely happy with what we got. Can you get in this? Can you get in this? Oh my god, you can get in the tank! Can I shoot in the tank? Packers, what's up? Uh, yeah, you have to forgive me, dude. Keeping track of everyone's uh, screen handles is... I'm not the best at it, so... What's up, dude? You've never seen Nintendo Quest? I thought you did. Why am I driving this tank? Chad, you can answer this. Why am I driving this tank but shooting my machine gun? I would assume because you need someone to man the gun, right? You can't drive and shoot the gun. Yeah, Chad's car rants are really entertaining. Oh, <laughs> that guy is good. Oh, get out of here. He clipped up. Oh, I'm throwing grenades. Oh, that's it. This is just fun. Now I'm having like, just like Grand Theft Auto fun right here. If you guys are bored and you want me to do the actual levels, please let me know. I'm just screwing around at this point. For fun, not realism. What is this fun you speak of? Oh, you only recently heard of it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, that was my fir my very first project that I was involved with when I started this whole career. Yeah, that will be... The shooting of it, probably 10 years this this year. We did it! We did it! Guys, don't forget to support our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. You're doing them a huge favor, downloading their amazing game, and you're doing me a favor. It helps my channel too. So you can find the link to that in the panels section of my channel here on Twitch. It's a free download. 
Just do it. Do it for me. Okay, we completed all those objectives. Uh, mission status complete. Find the plague mission key. Uh, escape the plane. Cool. Oh, Chad, that's crazy, dude. Like, that's that's so awesome. Thanks, dude. For me, that was King of Kong. I talked about King of Kong a lot. I just, I love that film. And when I was doing my hardcore raiding in World of Warcraft, uh, I'd have a portable DVD player right beside my monitor here. And I would have that on. It just made, put me in the mood to game. It really did. Oh, Viper, thanks for noticing that. <laughs> yeah, I was 60%, now I'm 51. Stadium events, uh, 70 grand, yeah. Yeah, no joke. No joke. Our next objective, this is a great level. Power down the communications dish, enter the base via the ventilation tower Jay likes limbs the most what hit limbs you guys are crazy it's Friday everyone's getting all crazy <clears throat> four years ago Oh, I got my Han Solo Hoth outfit on. Here we go. Yeah, crazy Friday. What's what's so crazy? We gotta make Friday crazy somehow. Uh Drink twice as much coffee as you usually do? Eh, I'm going to do that anyway. I don't know. Oh, I know how we can all go crazy. Play some uh, Link Faces of Evil for CDI. Do you want me to switch games? I'll do it right now. Car rants. Yeah, car rants, you need to be in that mood, right? I feel like car rants, you kind of just get pushed. You kind of feel cornered, and then you just got to let it out, right? Zero, my brother. What's going on? How you doing, D? Tonight, we are talking the state of the toy industry. Um, so it's not our usual verses. Look at this. Watch this shot. Look at this Cobra Snow Viper here. He's going to get it. Ah, it's, it's so temperamental. Oh, he saw me. Okay, that was not a hit. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be talking toys, Zero. Just the price of things, distribution, what we're liking, what's going on, what we're not liking. As we've seen with, I mean, you've seen it, guys, with my channel, the, the toy stuff has certainly slowed down, right? Um, there's a reason for that, and it has nothing to do with me not lo loving toys, right? But we'll talk about all that tonight. Uh, just important things like that. And then we'll be returning to the regular verses next week. That's not going anywhere. We're just changing it up, right? Oh, dude, are you getting that Grim Sword? You're going to get War Duke, I'm sure, right? I haven't seen War Duke yet. I can let you know, though. Uh, War Duke because I just I can't, I can't wait I have it pre-ordered at Big Bad Toy Store just in case I don't find it locally oh man I'm turned around I'm lost there's no map in this is there no there's no compass or map or anything door's locked um yeah they showed one of the toy cons they showed Strongheart as well he's coming out and the little um the little orc or the little goblin thief i can't remember his name with the little yellow dagger they're making him too so they're going all in on this line which is amazing 
Not usually a huge fan of remakes, but after I opened that Grim Sword, I'm like, okay, thank God they did it justice. I mean, even if they didn't, we still have the originals, right? And, you know, they're, they're a little expensive. They're $50 each. But the quality, NECA has just stepped up huge. Okay, what? There's nothing on this tower. What am I doing? <clears throat> okay, so we gotta go to the satellite dish. I'm gonna stay in the trenches. The trenches. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and I mean, that's one thing we're looking forward to talking about tonight is everything is expensive. I mean, realistically, everything on the planet is going up, right? Everything is just so crazy expensive. But we're talking about things that we don't need, right? Toys are a luxury. But anyway, I'm not going to keep going on about that stuff right now. D, do you have a switch? Yeah, I saw a lot of people are getting the Sky Strikers now. Xbox House, gotcha. Uh, I believe this is on Xbox as well. This came out on Xbox, same time today. <clears throat> but I had some people on my social media telling me that this was already out on the Rare Collection. I didn't know that. What does this do? Okay, communications. Okay, what have I got to do here? Okay, I just have to enter the ventilation tower. Okay, power down the dish. Easy. Well, the ventilation tower is not going to be up here. They've jacked the Sky Striker up $600 for real. What was it? 300 US, right? I don't know why people are losing their minds over this thing. It's literally like the vintage one. Well, Chad, you'll have to let us all know. But it looks like the vintage Sky Striker to me. I don't know why people are going so crazy. The new figures are pretty cool. Oh, it's right there. Is that the ventilation tower? No, it's a window. Looks like that is the ventilation tower. No, that's just the design of the pillar. I haven't seen them in person. I don't know anybody. I think maybe Rob back the Sky Striker. I can't remember. I don't really know anyone. Uh, Michael, Michael Mercy did. But I haven't seen the figures in person. Into the base via ventilation tower. Oh, God. <laughs> Ch 
Chad, <laughs> Chad, you got a new name. Chad the Toy Giver. <laughs> Do it, do it for, like, if you don't want it, if you decide you don't want it, do it like a, a giveaway or something. Chad, the toy giver. Okay, so it's not in this building. Where is this ventilation tower? Where, oh, where is it? This stupid thing? There's a guard tower. Oh, it's so weird without a map. Why does Bond not have a map? Maybe in these huts here? Maybe, maybe not. Ah, you can give it away on tonight's if you want. I'm sure there's more than enough people on our show that would love to have a Viper 3 pack. It's a pretty sweet giveaway, man. Look at this house with nothing in it. So it's got to be this other thing here. The G.I. Joe classified Crimson Guard is pretty cool. I believe he has a sword. I saw it in the store, but I haven't uh, I haven't picked one up. This poor guy. Ooh, it's a little tricky. A little tricky. Snow serpents dead. Yeah, it's a little finicky aiming this thing, but it's okay. It works, kind of. So this is probably going to be something really easy that I, I just can't figure out. Grenade launcher I found. Whoa. Who's going to be the poor sap? This guy? Look at this poor guy. Hey, buddy. Oh. Dead. I don't think so. No, they don't respawn. No, because I remember there's an area that I used to go to, and I would just stand behind the door, and they would all file in. No, they don't respawn. Safe is locked. That must be for an advanced difficulty. Pretty dangerous going in these rooms with this grenade launcher. As the difficulty increases in this game, like the three different... Oh my god. The three different difficulties, uh, the objectives change too. Which is really cool. So there's stuff in some of the levels when you're playing it on agent like this that you don't even, you'll never interact with, but they're still there. It's really neat. These doors sh keep shutting, or am I just going in the same area over and over? <gasps> Booger. Get away from me. I don't want the butt of the gun. Eat it. All right, so we have to go to, I guess, the satellite area. That's where, that's where the vent is. I can't really find it. It's got to be in this building. Oh, poor soul.
That's weird. I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck. It's probably something really incredibly easy that I'm just missing. That door is that door. Same room. Up top. There's nothing up top. I go on this thing. Back when you go up the stairs. Love the noise of this silence pistol. It's so great. Okay. Back when you go up the stairs. Like the original stairs here. Are you, do you know or are you just guessing? The only room I see is this. There's nothing in it. Uh, did I just fail? I think I failed. Enter base via ventilation tower. I just alerted the base. Guy comes at me with a sniper rifle inside these close quarters. These special forces guys now. Sweet. Oh, I don't want the crappy club. Try to shoot this guy. The sniper rifle. Ooh. Ooh. Go in here one more time, then I'm going to look it up. Oval shaped ventilation shaft. In this building, though, or it's in a different building? Because there's just this stuff down here. Click on it, it does nothing. In the snow. Well, that might be possible we didn't explore the rest of the level, yeah? I just figured that big tower is the end. Uh, it's, I'm really like lost here. In the snow. Well, we're gonna keep following the path then. I was looking for like a vent in the wall. I thought it was, excuse me, in that building. Okay, we're going the wrong way. It's got to be this way. We were already in here. Hey. Easy. Ah, uh, terrible. Uh, 
across from the tower. Okay, here's the tower. Why does it keep pulling up the butt of the gun like that? Uh, Chad, actually, I think, now that I remember, when the alarm goes off, I think that's a different set of enemies. Which, why they kind of reward you being stealthy. There it is. Thanks, Chris. Oh, don't I have the cool watch thing? I think it is. Isn't there like a watch thing? I guess that's a level coming up. You can remember you get the watch laser and you can cut open these locks. It's super sweet. But I'm just gonna blow them away old school. Yeehaw! Okay, well that was like 55 minutes. I'm not winning any speed records for that one. We got to do it again because I got trigger happy and I blew up the console. <sighs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Okay, guys. Actually, I really have to go to the bathroom. Give me one quick sec. Let's try that again. Now we know what to do. That's good. I remember like on the later difficulties, some of the objectives being really, really difficult. Not only to find, but just to not, to not fail. Especially when you're a trigger happy agent like me. I powered down the dish, right? I did it. Then I blew up the console. I would never make it as an, what are they called? M agents? I would never make it as a bond, dude. There you go. This guy, shh, 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 shh. quiet, quiet, quiet. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what's gonna happen to him. Hey, buddy. Oof. Ooh. I want that grenade launcher again. Trigger J. <laughs> Articulated giveaway in Trigger J. Next, Chad's giving away his car. Don't forget, don't miss that on tonight's stream. Uh, Viper, if you're talking about the game, we, we failed. Because I blew up the console like an idiot. We already powered down the dish, but then I shot it afterwards just to be a big hero. <laughs> Articulated demonetized giveaway. <laughs> <clears throat> the joke there, ladies and gentlemen, is that on YouTube, a new policy has taken effect uh, that they haven't told us content creators about, which is you cannot swear within the first eight to ten or eight to fifteen seconds of your videos. And I don't swear usually, anyway. But it's just kind of a weird thing, and this actually goes back to older videos that you've done too. So it go goes all the way through your back catalog, and if you've swear, uh, if you've sworn, sorry, in these older videos, they get demonetized. So Chad and I joke about that stuff. I'm like, you could swear just after 15 seconds. Golden Eye Double O Hero.
Just get get it out backstage before. Okay, power down dish. Yeah, I won't. Okay. I wanna I wanna shoot it. I wanna blow it up so bad. I'm not going to. Man, when you really know what you're doing in this, like after you've gone through it once, you could really like super speed run this. Because you really can just bypass the enemies and just run right to the objectives. Am I going the wrong way? Yep. Or am I? Am I going the right way or the wrong way? Ron Bond. See, this is like world record time here. To get to this part. Uh, the controls. So sensitive. That's what she said. Here we go. Done and done. What's next? Let's see our stats for that one. What? Four minutes? 33% accuracy. Oh, boy. Ah, oh boy. Oh. We're starting to get there now. Copy the golden eye key and leave the original. Photograph main video screen. Copy the golden eye key, leave the original. Flesh wound J. Guys, think of a name for Chad. We gotta change his name every single week. I like articulated giveaway. Do the photo first. You got it, buddy. Nope. Oh, crap. He did the alarm. My reflexes of a slug again. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to get bloodlust. I'm going to get bloodlust. As soon as I get this gun. All right, bloodlust. Here we go. Gah! I can't take it. Oh, look at these cool dudes. <coughs> okay, we got a situation out here. Bartlett screwed it up for everyone. Look at this mess I've got myself into. Articulated G.I. Joe? What? What are you going to... You, you're going to rebrand your channel? To what? Oh, the cameras. I forgot the cameras. Dude, it's just a slaughter, D. I'm killing them all. <laughs> How many anonymous henchmen have you killed? Hang on, I'm trying to read the chat. I'm getting shot. Actually, I think I'm, I'm going to die here. I'm going to do this again. Is that that's a, a Rumanoff? Look at him throw the grenade. I'm purposely dying here. Oh, no, that's not a Rumanoff. Or is it? These dudes. Take me down! Take me down! Take me down! Ah! Just kill me. Oh, there's Boris. See him running in the back there? What you're doing there is lovingly referred to as recon by fire. I love it. Is that really a thing? What what is what does that mean? 
Awesome parts dad said that. Ah. Awesome. That one guy did a fancy hop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like the mocap, right? But it's kind of hilarious. It's almost like filmation He Man stuff. Like it's like over exaggerated, ridiculous movements. So that's like. I'm guessing it's like a drive by kind of thing. Copy the gold Nike and leave the original. Okay. This time, we're going to calm down. I forgot how fun this level was. I think this was one of the levels that you just you have, like, your back to the wall in a room, and they just keep filing in. You don't want them to hit the alarm. Oh, there's a camera. That too. Okay. Let's see if I can hit this thing. Aim not so good. Oh my god, it's terrible. Just son of a Well I have the worst aim in existence. Well now I'm gonna really pay. I gotta get my back to the wall. Oh, Jesus. Look at him. Where, where'd he go? Give me your gun. Here we go, boys. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I want your doubles. Oh, God. They got guys on the side. This is a bad room to be in. This is a bad room to be in. Oh, my God. Does it, no, I'm just... Ow. Yep, no, please stop hurting me. I want to be friends. Oh, come on. Game controls like an old man. Oh my god. I don't know what happened there. Holy Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, look at, I'm drunk, look, look at this. See, this is the room I wanted to be in the whole time, now watch this. If there's anyone left, I have no life, but that's okay. Oh, okay, so it's something a rookie does, Chad. <laughs> I get it. It seems like a waste of ammo, if you don't know what's there. I'm getting my butt kicked. Pull my friggin' slaps out. I'll show them. I'll karate chop them. Bond. Dead. This is a fun level. This is a fun level. If I had shot the camera, we wouldn't be in this position. But my aim sucks. Join Slap J and Giveaway Chad tonight to complain about toys on the Man Baby channel. There you go. How's that for a promo? <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Okay. Can I hit this camera? Oh, it's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Nope. No. Don't even go near that alarm. And what we're going to do is going to take out the alarms. <gasps> the guy just walked right by. What was that? What is that? Oh, where'd that guy come from? Oh, boy. Okay, it's getting out of control real fast. Is the what? Why is the camera back? Okay, it's glitched out. That's hilarious. <clears throat> oh, 
<clears throat> oh my god. All right, screw it. Give me body armor. Okay, so I think I'm just going to stand here. This this should work. They'll just file in. Come on, boys. Come on in. Nope, I haven't alerted the whole base. I mean, that's good. This poor guy. Oh. Nothing like being shot in the upper thigh. You're not calling anybody. Neither are you there, bub. They call him the old golden eye. Oh, there's a guy way over there. I guess I'm just going to have to storm over there because I don't have anything that... Oh, there's Boris. What if I kill Boris? What happens? Oh, what? It's the golden eye key. Got that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I think if I don't kill Boris, he goes and, like, he pulls the alarm. I feel bad because he's the main character in the story. And I just blew him away. There's the body armor. I need that body armor. Oh, I'm out. Give me that. Zip. Copy golden eye key. How do I do that? Why would I want the unsilenced one? It's got to be here. This thing? Stop it. Oh, wait a second. It's all coming back to me now. I screwed up. You got to point the gun at him, and I think he takes you to where you got to do it. I think. Well, we're going to find out. I think I screwed it up. Oh, it should say failed or completed here. Let me look at the objective list. Copy golden eye key and leave the original. Okay, so I have something in my inventory. Camera. Key analyzer. Data thief. Computer card. Hmm. Take a picture of the main screen, which is this. I can't remember how to uh, get these items up. Uh, it's not doing anything. Camera. That's grenade. Hmm. Okay, there's the picture. That's what she said. Oh, I gotta select it and then go into the other screen. Okay. Uh okay. It's kind of confusing. Key analyzer. Now go out. Hit it. There we go. Listen to the fax machine noise. Okay, did I did I do it? Golden eye key. Copy golden eye key and leave original.
So we did it. We did both objectives. Okay, so now we just have to escape. Uh, I mean, that wasn't so bad. Using the items is kind of crazy. Ah, there we go. We did it. I don't think we're going to get any speed records on this one. How's my accuracy? I went down to, what, 53% that I was down lower? I think it's pretty low. I went up a little bit. 68%. I chalked that up to there being so many enemies on the screen, though. I couldn't miss. There were so many guys. Wherever I shot, there was a guy. Weapon of choice, PP7. Silenced. Not bad. Not bad. Now we're at the silo. We have to photograph the satellite. Minimize scientist casualties. You guys know that I cannot promise that. If they get in my way, they're going to get it. That's just the way she goes. Photograph satellite. Okay. We got this. We got this all day. I did. I did do good, man. Yeah. I thought for sure. I thought for sure that we're going to screw that up. Ghost farts. What a name. What's up, man? I should go back and play on max difficulty. By doing so, you will unlock secret levels. Oh, that's that's uh, definitely good advice, man. I forgot about all the secrets. Yeah, there's a lot of objectives, time-based objectives and stuff like that. I'm going to. I'm just kind of getting my feet wet with the original here, showing everybody all the levels, enjoying it. And by the way, welcome to the chat, my friend, if you're new here. Uh, it's good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. I'm just so stoked we're playing this in 2023. Yeah, we were. I was just actually talking about the um, how there's more difficult objectives the harder you go on the difficulty. Some of them were pretty crazy too. I remember trying to. I think one of the secrets, if you remember back in the day, was unlocking the Aztec level. You had to do some crazy speed run. This game was doing speed runs before speed runs were, were a thing, <laughs> you know. Photograph the is this the satellite thingy or what? Did you did you get a chance to play it yet? Or are you playing it? Oh nice. So you you already finished it. Oh good for you, man. Do you remember back in the day, all the, the rumors and secrets? Remember uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly did that secret? Or did they, they did that? This is not the satellite. This is a rocket. Remember they did that secret where if you beat it at a certain time and it was like impossible to do, you would unlock all four bonds. Remember that? You didn't all the way. You had to go to bed. Yeah. Good for you hitting it right off the bat. I thought it was the end of the month, so I thought it was the 31st. And then I saw everyone, oh crap, I saw everyone posting today. I'm like, oh, it's today, it's amazing. What a great way to start the weekend. Are you serious with that? Are you kidding me? Yeah, it was something crazy like that. So basically you were just running. And you were hoping for the best and dodging everything. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely gonna get into that for sure. Cause my, my GoldenEye cartridge, my original one, I had done everything. Uh, same with Perfect Dark. I think my multiplayer guy in Perfect Dark was ranked 2, which was, I think, I think it was called Near Perfect. But I obsessed over the rare achievements. Because rare games 
can be really, really hard. I mean, remember uh, Diddy Kong Racing? Trying to unlock all the racers in Diddy Kong? Oof. Oh, yeah. Perfect Dark is fire. You remember putting on the 12, the 12 Sims and just playing by yourself? I would do that all the time. Just play multiplayer, especially when you unlock the GoldenEye levels. When you unlocked uh, Complex, and then you put the Sims in. It's just absolutely amazing. That game doesn't get the love it deserves. I'm hoping we get treated to Perfect Dark. And it, it really sucks, you know, when Microsoft or when uh, Microsoft acquired Rare, we got that first uh, Perfect Dark, which was okay. It was all right. It was not nearly as great as the uh, 64 one. But then they kept talking about how there was going to be sequels to Perfect Dark, and that franchise kind of just died. Where am I going here? Oh, there's the door. I just am I a bad person if I want to just do that? <laughs> it's so hard to not do that. <laughs> like, it's so hard. Oh, I feel bad now. That guy was just, he was probably going to go home and have dinner. Watch Walking Dead or something. I don't know. And I just shot him in the back. I'm a bad person. Well, on my channel here, Ghost Farts, I like to stream a lot of old school stuff. I do play modern, but I like to stream a lot of old school obscure stuff. So I'm not going to uh, say you're not right. And I don't want to sound like the old man yelling at the clouds, but uh, I really think that, I don't know, games were just, they were a lot better. I, I, I agree. There's some great stuff today. Don't, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great modern stuff. But in general, I'm less interested. Obscure games, Jay. <laughs> CDI, no, CDIJ. That's got to be the thing. It used to be 3 doj now it's CDIJ. Door is locked. Doesn't do anything there. But hey, man, if you like what you see, throw a follow if you can. I do appreciate that. Helps me out big time. Uh, I am lost. So you know what happens when I'm lost. You know what? I had Conkers going yesterday and I was having some audio issues. But Conker is on the list. Uh, today was actually supposed to be Bully Day as well. Uh, and again, I was surprised by the release of this. So I switched it to Goldeneye. Yeah, Conker is... Conker is amazing. I mean, games, there's always been clones, right? But I feel like there's a lot of clone stuff today. More so than maybe maybe even the old 2600 days where we had the same space shooter 30 times by 30 different companies. You guys are... Oh, that guy got shot in the neck. Look at him. Ooh, poor guy. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I do remember these crates, though, in multiplayer. You could hide in them as an odd job. Maybe I better look at the objectives again. That's probably a good idea. Photograph satellite. Have we seen the satellite yet? I don't think so. I'm going to try that again. I'm just going to start fresh. Sixty four era ghost farts. That is the golden. That is my golden age. As much as I love NES Genesis for uh, multiplayer gaming, it is sixty four. 
thousands of hours spent playing with friends. Uh, Goldeneye, Mario Kart, Mario Party, all that stuff. There's nothing like playing split screen. And you know, is it nice when you're playing online multiplayer and you have the whole screen to yourself? Of course. But I would sacrifice that any day to have the old 64 days back. Calling your friends screen lookers for cheating. Remember that? Damn screen looker. I mean, you called someone that. I mean, that was a fight. I mean, you meant that. That was like the biggest swear word you could say to them. Okay, what am I what am I missing here? This area is not big. Did I go the wrong way? Don't you go down here or something like that, if I remember correctly? Buddy. Buddy, like, like, look, he's blocking my way. What do I do? I have no choice. I have no choice. I'm sorry, my friend. It's not meant to be. Oh. <laughs> he was in my way. He was in my way. He was blocking the area. Can I go down here? No. Ghost, did you do that? Did you... Put the cardboard because that's on another level of like epicness. I heard about people that would do that. I've seen a lot of old YouTube videos where people have done that. Oh, what am I doing? There's gonna be a. I didn't. I didn't do that. I was just gonna say there's gonna be a door release here, and I probably just blew it up, or that guy blew it up, or picked up a key card. Aha! There we go. What, what did that guy call me? That guy just called me something. What did you say, buddy? Oh, God. Ah! Something about this game and just wanting to waste the scientists. Okay, we got the card. Oh, look at that. Here we go. See you, buddy. Ghost farts, I'm curious. What controller did you use when you played this? N64 controller, yeah, that's what I'm using here too. As soon as the 64 was available for the Switch Online, I grabbed this controller. Uh, the NES one too. I, I can't find a Super Nintendo one, but uh, I grabbed the 64 one right away. Ouch, ouch, ouch! Stop it! What am I stuck on? <sighs> Oof. Yeah, you better drop your key card. I forgot about aiming at the scientists and they drop whatever they have. I just did that by accident. Oh yeah, quick draw. So good. I'm almost out of bullets for the old silenced. We're gonna have to make some noise soon. You're a sixty four controller? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, as an adult collector, <clears throat> I I would say over the last 15 years, I can't remember when, but I picked up the uh, gold N64 system. Um, and I always remember 
seeing this system and wanting that gold controller specifically for this game because I love the man with the golden gun game mode. But I, I was the same. I had the closest I got was remember the yellow one? They had the yellow colored controller. That was as close as I got to gold at the time when this was out. And that was my controller. I even like I took it home with me. I brought my own controller to my buddy's place. No one touched the yellow one. And on top of that, I was such a brat that nobody was allowed to use a yellow one. So, you know, we went through these back in the day. Like, we went through so many controllers. And it's like, what is it I just got? And it was like, okay, if you go to the store to get another one, you know the rules, man. I'm yellow. You can't buy a yellow one. So sometimes they would buy the yellow one to troll. Did that scientist just leave with the key card? Oh, that's the satellite. There's the satellite. Is that the satellite? That's not the satellite. Okay. So that guy ran away. I'm not supposed to kill the scientist, but he ran away with the card. So now what? I'm stuck? But I gotta go track them down? Oh, that sucks. The Pikachu one. Yeah, I remember the Pokemon 64. I picked that one up too. Actually, I worked for a big corporate game retailer for a long time. And my first couple years there was way back in 2003. And uh, I remember going into the back room. And they just had a bunch of like stacks and stacks of used 64 game. Or used 64 systems. Like $14.99 each. Bought them all. So I have most of the colors, and I opened one of them, and I was lucky enough that it was a Pikachu one. But yeah, they were just under one generic skew. I remember I picked them all up because I wanted all the colors. <clears throat> okay, so I'm kind of stuck here. Is that what's going on? I think that's what's happening. Door's locked. It's nice they remastered this, though, for sure. Or not remastered it. They brought it out, and I mean, it's so clear. Okay, so I'm going to have to start that again, I'm guessing, because I have to get the key card. Minimize scientist casualties, but the guy ran away with the key card. Well, okay, so I'm going to have to hold them up. I got it. Okay, here we go. I can't remember what it is. I think you can take two down. But because I spared the guy, like he ran off with the key. Like who's got the key and who doesn't? Okay, there's, there's the key. So he dropped it there. guy he 
Yeah, I think I'm going to waste the scientist in the last room. Just to not take any chances. Kill the soldiers first. Kill the soldiers first. Freeze. There, he dropped it. Okay. We got this. We got this. We're climbing. Oh, I shot him in the gun. That's pretty cool. Right in the gun. That's what he gets. That guy looks like Pat Smear. Crazy. Forgot about the guy that looks like Pat. Whew. Making all sorts of noise now. Oh, boy. Okay, let's switch guns here. So we can stick up the scientist. He's not running away on me this time. If he does, he's going to get a lead sandwich. Let's freeze this minute. There, he dropped it. No, that's the data. Did he run out with it again? Oh, there's one on the... Ah, oh, it's on the computer? Picked up a circuit board. Ah, What? There it is. It was in the corner. Ah, it's a little tricky, man. You really got to look for that stuff. They really hide that stuff. Am I frustrated? No. I don't really get mad. Even when I get loud and crazy, I'm just having fun. Even during Splatterhouse and stuff like that, man, I'm having a blast. I don't get mad at this this stuff. Right in the gun again. You don't want to get shot in the gun. Adrian, I hope I pronounced that right. What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. This is on Nintendo Switch. This came out today. Brand new today. If you're... Um, whatever their services that you subscribe to to play. 64, NES, Genesis, that kind of stuff. GoldenEye is out today. It's also on Xbox as well. This is the uh, Switch version. Thanks for joining, man. Good to see you. Oh, there's a satellite. Okay. Now, I don't want to blow this up. Hang on, hang on. I don't want to blow this up. So, let's go to the camera before we clear this room. No, come here. Told you to. Well, he asked for it. No one's leaving. You can't run away with the key card. Because there's another door there, too. Freeze. Whoop. Oops. Oh my god, I just blew that guy's head off by. That was completely by mistake. Yeah, so the controls, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm using the uh, Switch N64 controller. I've heard there's issues with the Pro and the Joy-Cons. So I don't know. Uh, but there's a lot of videos out there 
Uh, I should say there's some videos out there that people have put that, that show you the settings you need to do. But I can't, like, Nintendo's not going to release. They're not going to release something. Uh, you know, not everyone has the Pro Controller or the 64 Controller, so I, I it'll be fine. Uh, dude, that was totally by accident. I didn't mean to hit that scientist. That's why you don't keep your finger on the trigger. We failed. That's okay. That's okay. You gotta really be careful with the scientists. You have to stick them up so they drop the key card. Because if they run away, you're screwed. You can't get through the next door. I'm just gonna blow away everything now. So, uh, Ghost, what, uh, sorry, what controls were you using? Just like the regular Joy Cons, or did you have a Pro Controller? Cons, yeah, I heard there's issues with those. And the Xbox must take advantage of the dual stick or the dual analogs too, right? Which would be nice. I thought for sure that was going to be an issue because us as gamers were so accustomed to the dual sticks now for first person shooters. But it's like riding a bike using this uh, 64 controller again, it's crazy. Okay, let's try that again. Now I know, do not kill any of the scientists. We were right at the end. I didn't mean to uh, eliminate him. Freeze. 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 Hey, I said freeze. Thank you for the key card. Okay. So we got to be careful with the computers too. If we shoot the computers and they kill the scientists, I think we're responsible for it. So we're just going to get out of here and keep going. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, okay, cool. So the Xbox One's on Game Pass too. So I don't like the fact that we can't own this. That kind of bugs me. Um, I'm just happy we get to play it again. But yeah, I would definitely like... Imagine how cool a hard copy of this would be. Oh, it would be so wicked. But from a business standpoint, I get it, right? They make way more money off the game this way. Because you, be you have to be subbed, right? To play uh, GoldenEye. I get it. This game is damn fun. Like, no joke. It is so fun. Just freeze! Hey! You better not have that key card. Oh, makes me nervous. Oh, there it is on the ground. Okay, I think they, they must drop it. You just gotta search for it on the ground. They could take it back now, you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've talked about digital versus physical so many times on multiple different streams. I don't like the digital. Um, I don't like the fact that we don't own it. We don't have control over that. 
I can take it back. <laughs> Next is Perfect Dark. Let's hope we get that. Since uh, there's, they seem to be striking a deal with Microsoft and Rare now. Let's get Perfect Dark on this. I heard people too don't like the fact that I guess the multiplayer is not online. I guess they just want everyone to play in the same room together. I don't know how realistic that's going to be. I think everyone that wants to do that hung on to their 64 and their copy of GoldenEye, right? I hope so, man, because since Microsoft acquired Rare, they haven't really done anything. Rare was so good. It's really sad, and I, I'm a huge fan of Perfect Dark. Oh, there's the key card. Buy out Nintendo, what do you mean? Oh, you mean like, well, it would have to be someone like Microsoft. Someone with endless money. Nintendo would never be in a position to sell. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the 360 one. That was fun. I had a lot of fun with that. I forgot about that. Do you want to know why? Because it was a digital only release. And like so many games on uh, digital, once they take it off the server or the server no longer exists, you can't play the game. I really got to get used to that and, and, you know, stop complaining about that because that's just the way the game industry is now. I'm just not a fan of that. Is that actually on the physical disc for Rare Replay? Oh my god, look at these guys. Going back to Rare as well, I, I really don't mind the Perfect Dark <coughs> that they did. Uh, and then there was the sequel was supposed to come out. They kept talking about it over and over and over again, and it just never came out. I don't know if it's shelved indefinitely. It's got to be at this point. They're going to have to just start it from the ground up again. Camera. Okay. Do not kill any scientists. Freeze. Give me your card. the card <sighs> okay come on file in file in boys come on oh he's a good shot reload come on James let's go Look at this terrible, terrible aim. Things are getting hairy. Ah, what's what am I stuck on? Ugh. I think in the later difficulties, you can't let Arumanov escape there. I don't think it matters here. He's gone at least, so I hope it doesn't. we did it that's correct Cobra yep yeah I've seen that with a lot of things I had the Mortal Kombat not the trilogy maybe it was the trilogy back in the day <coughs> excuse me I took it off to make room on my hard drive on my 360 
and uh, went to install it, you know, six months later, and it was gone. They took it off the server. Scott Pilgrim as well was another one. But that's the new model of things, the way of things now. <clears throat> well, not all. Not all Cobra. Some. Um, but, you know, I would say when new gen stuff comes out, like when console gens switch over, that's when you lose a lot of that stuff. A lot of it, too, is hooked up to online only, so you have to be connected to their servers to use it. I didn't see the objectives. Rescue hostage, plant tracking bug on the helicopter. Okay, I can do that. This battleship. Well, we failed that one. That one hostage is dead. Where are the bullets. Ooh, this gun's great. It's like the clob, but better. Making all kinds of noise here. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. Eat it. Ooh, that hurt. So you remember when Rare first went to Microsoft, um, they had a game called Grab by the Ghoulies. Do you remember that? And the big F you to Nintendo was when you start up the game, and I think you're in the lobby or the first part of the level. Do you remember that they had a stuffed banjo head in the lobby? It was kind of like, screw you, Nintendo. You didn't give us the money we wanted. Ghost was that? That was the other one on the 64, correct? The blue cart? Uh, I never played that one. Yeah, this song is great. Get out of here. Go. Go, Uncle Rico. You're free. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I never I've never played it. I just remember being so disappointed when Activision got the license. For tomorrow never dies so we all thought we were gonna get the sequel to goldeneye by rare and activision acquired it and they brought out that game on ps1 and it's just like oh not only was it on playstation so graphically it was inferior but the game was just it was nothing compared to this this is like a work of art i called him uncle rico he looked like uncle rico from napoleon dynamite Oh, crap. All right, buddy. I'll be here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. 
Oh, I almost shot the hostage. Oh. That would have been rough. Oh, I tagged that guy. Wow. Hostage escaped. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, rescue hostages complete. Plant tracking bug on helicopter. Oh, now I have to get back to the boat. If I remember correctly. Ah, save another one for fun. Why not? Go! Get out of here. Go be free. We're stuck on it. We gotta get back to the surface. We're now in the bowels of the ship. There we go. Great sound effects. Love it. Love it. Oh. Okay. What is this part? I think I have to get back to my boat. So we're going to go this way. Where's my boat? Oh, there it is. Bond, can you can you get down? All right, we did it. <laughs> 